my name is Michelle and I do five star book reviews. I only review books if I deem them worthy of five stars because I hate negative book reviews. And we are talking today about this book, The Dinner List by Rebecca Searle. And this book came out in September, I think September 11th. So I'm a little bit late to this one, but um, I really had intended on only doing a written review on Amazon and Goodreads and Net, Net Galley and, you know, but I started to read it and I couldn't stop. Okay. I, I was like, oh my God, this book is so good. Like it's better than good. This book is great. This is a debut novel for Rebecca. Okay. And as I got deeper into this book, I was like, oh my God, she's brilliant. I went back, I'm like, this is a debut novel? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? And um, so I just loved it. So here we are and I am reviewing this book as a video because it is a five-star book. If you have not read this book, go get it, okay, today. Just get it on Amazon just download it. I don't care. Go to Barnes and Noble, whatever. Get this book. It is that good. Um, okay. So what do I, what can I tell you about it? Main character, Sabrina. Okay. This is called the dinner list. And, um, basically when she was in college, her and her best friend, Jessica, were talking about the five people they would invite to dinner if they could living dead, whatever. So she came up with a list and it's a really interesting list. Uh, that's what I loved about why this book is so good because Rebecca like put a lot of thought into this and I don't want to even give too much away like I will tell you that Audrey Hepburn is one of the dinner guests okay and the fact that her main character's name is Sabrina and you'll find out why but if you're an Audrey Hepburn fan like you can already guess some of that but, um, and, but so it goes back and forth in timeline. So we're at the dinner and then we're in the past and then we're at dinner and then we're in the past. And she wrote this so brilliantly. I have never read a book like this. So I'm going to read some of the passages that are not giveaways and, um, just to give you an idea of her writing. And you'll see it up on the screen as I read it. This is the very beginning. So we're starting at the dinner, okay? We've been waiting for an hour. That's what Audrey says. She states it with a little bit of an edge, her words just bordering on cursive. That's the thing I think first. Not Audrey Hepburn is at my birthday dinner, but Audrey Hepburn is annoyed. <laughs> that's how she starts a book and I was cracking up first of all I love Audrey Hepburn so you don't have to like convince me that that was a perfect dinner guest okay now up on the screen okay the end of the first chapter which is my favorite part of a book because this defines for me whether I am setting it down or I'm going to continue to read it okay I look for this ending okay they look at me, all five of them. They look expectant, hopeful. They look like I'm supposed to tell them why they're here. But I can't do that, not yet anyway. So instead, I open my menu. Why don't we order, I say, and we do. And there we go. It starts off, okay? And I, as soon as I read that, I'm like, I do want to finish this. I do want to read the next chapter. And not only did I want to read the next chapter, I wanted to read the chapter of that, the chapter of that. She kept me going back and forth. I wanted to know what happened. Tobias is her boyfriend. I wanted to know what happened. <laughs> Such a romantic book. I cried at the end. That's all I'm going to say. I cried. And it doesn't even matter. You can go to the end and read it. You won't even get it. So you got to read the whole thing. But I was sitting somewhere I wasn't at home. I finished. I was like, I couldn't, I only had a couple more pages to go. So I was like, fine, whatever. And I'm in a room full of people and I finish it and tears were in my eyes and I was looking around. I'm like, I hope nobody sees me because they're going to think something happened. And really I'm just crying because I'm at the end of this book and oh my God, Rebecca, you did an amazing job. Okay, so everybody go get this debut novel for Rebecca, uh, standing ovation. I am so happy for you. I cannot wait to see what you have next. Amazon link is listed below. Please hit like if you like this review. 
please comment if you want me to read any books. I read lots of books. And um, please subscribe. I do videos every single day. Have a great day, everyone.